What is up guys, Joe Snow right here, welcome to iDevice Central channel. Today we're discussing about jailbreak, yet again. You know that time when Apple releases a new firmware that is hard to jailbreak and we don't have jailbreak for a long period and from time to time we get to see new demos from either Look at Disco or I Hate Snow or from some random guy on the YouTube. Well, this happened again and uh, this is a extremely controversial video. It says iOS 10.1 jailbreak demo with Cydia Substrate. Uh, from Cydia Substrate I'm trying to figure out what he uh, means, probably mobile sub substrate, but if you look up in the video, it's in the description as a reference, the uh, channel is new, it only has this video, it was created back in February 2014, but it only has this video, so nothing else to prove it is a real developer or something. But the uh, demo itself is pretty convincing. Why I'm saying that? Well, be because apparently he is using an iPhone 7 um, and in order to prove that he uses uh, Yonix application uh, which was banned from the App Store. I don't know if you remember it, but it was a great application that can uh, tell you if you're jailbroken or if you have security flaws on your operating system. And he shows basic information about his phone, including the fact that he's running an uh, iPhone 7 with the iOS 10.1. And the application apparently uh, is able to detect a uh, couple of things about his device. Uh, also, he has another ap application right here, uh, excluding Cydia, of course, that he starts in order to provide you with the information that everything is legit. He also uses a couple of uh, functions that are only available on the iPhone 7. Okay, we got it. He's using an iPhone 7 with 10.1. Well, apparently this guy stated that he got himself a jailbreak for the uh, iPhone 7 iOS 10.1, but he's not planning to release it. He created an application that actually the only thing that says on a black screen is jailbreak now. Oh, I, I hate those jokes with jailbreak. And um, when he clicks it, probably it hangs. I uh, saw the video, but uh, yeah, it hangs and then it requires him to uh, patch everything. After patching, uh, it installs Cydia, opens Cydia, installs a pack uh, randomly and then um, confirms that the pack was installed in the Cydia's uh, installed packages. Well, that's what the video is about. It shows basically a jailbreak demo in a foreign language, probably German, uh, and basically on an iPhone 7. So what is the problem? At first he stated he's not going to, um, to release this jailbreak. You can see right here I'm going to have it um, uh, popped. And he says that the first reason he's not going to release his jailbreak is the first. Cydia Substrate or Mobile Substrate formerly is patched by replacing a library that loads the uh, tweaks into the system. If uh, we wouldn't have an unpatched substrate for 10.x, then I would consider twice about this. But as long as it's patched and I don't own it, there isn't... Uh, no releases. And the second thing is the fact that he is a single developer and don't want to be held responsible for any damages that can occur. Pretty fair if you ask me. Third, uh, and the most important, this jailbreak is, uh, is stable sometimes and sometimes not. This means that um, it, provi it is provided for himself for uh, tweaking and testing purposes, not for releases. Uh, he says here that no code injection has been made in the video, but if it is requested, I guess I'll have to make another video. Well, uh, pretty cool since this point, right? Yes, you are going to get tricked into thinking that this is real uh, because of the uh, images, because of the uh, Cydia substrate being mentioned and Cydia being opened and so on. But if you navigate here to um, Reddit Jailbreak, which is the biggest community and the official Jailbreak community where um, real developers like Sorik, the author of Cydia, uh, has accounts. I also have an account in here. You can uh, you can see that he posted the same guy posted his video right here, and um, of course people started to uh, talk about it. But the most important comment and the only we needed is from Sorik. If you don't know who's Sorik, you're you're not into jailbreaking at all. Uh, Sorik is the author of Cydia. He created Cydia and 
everything related to it, like OpenSSL, uh, Sycrypt, and anything else, mobile substrate, and so on. And Sorik posted himself a comment in here. Of course, if you know Sorik, you know that he is known for posting uh, kilometric comments, so you're going to need the TLDR boot, which is right here. And thanks to the TLDR boot, we know that to prove your jailbreak uh, is legit, explain what has changed. So apparently Sorik had a conversation with this guy who apparently created or alle allegedly created the jailbreak and the guy continuously says that, uh, you know what, your mobile substrate is broken, uh, I can't get it working, that's why I'm not releasing. And um, Sorik be like, okay, but tell me what's broken and I'm going to fix it, or you can try to fix it yourself. And this guy continuously says, oh no, you know what, it's broken and something like this. So Sorik become a little bit, uh, how can I say this? Mm skeptical about the existence of this jailbreak and then um, after that he edits his comments saying that actually he had a conversation back in the past with this guy again uh, but at that time the guy complained about Cydia eraser application uh, having some permission issues that he, he can fix and apparently uh, this permission issues should be easy to fix for a jailbreak developer. So yeah, and also uh, he actually uh, got in an argument with Sorik uh, on the fact that Sorik uh, allegedly said his jailbreak is fake when he did not. At that time Sorik didn't say his, it's fake, he just said that um, there are no, not enough uh, proofs to actually sustain the idea of alleged jailbreak. But as you can see here, uh, regardless of whatever is posted here, you can read this, I know it will take time, but at this point, you can see here, at this point, I'm calling it, this is fake. And actually going to the TLDR, you can see that this person claims to have a jailbreak, uh, yet doesn't seem to know how to fix beginner issues, and is flaming Sorik because he thinks I called him fake, or he called him fake. The video doesn't really pass for of several checks for its legitimacy and the uh, the problem uh, Sorik has with the video is the fact that, as you can see, the uh, video was actually uh, shot with QuickTime, uh, so with a screen recorder, not with a camera showing the entire device. And he uh, says that you can actually fake things if you're not shooting it with a camera. That's why it's good to use camera when making jailbreak um, related videos. Then, the um, as I say, the video doesn't really pass the, um, the multiple checks to be put in place. And so, if... Sorik believes it's fake, then we all know what's uh, what's going on in here. But we're not completely sure about it. Although Sorik said he want more info about it. I mean, um, he demanded more information from the user itself to prove it somehow. We don't see any proofs from it and the video only remains this way. There are no other videos right here. So again, speaking about alleged jailbreak, Pangu doesn't really seem to be releasing something yet and hopefully if that guy is real, which I somehow doubt, hopefully even though he's not going to release it himself, he will pass the exploit used to Pangu. But that's less probable and probably the um, iOS 10.1 and 10.1.1 will get unsigned as well and we will not have a jailbreak for the moment. So do not fall for this guy for the moment. Just just keep on reading this jailbreak related page and stay updated because as you can see, uh, real developers tune in to actually analyze the video. So um, I really hope you will uh, you will get to read his um, Sorik's comment, even though it's kind of long, it explains completely why he thinks that uh, this jailbreak is fake, why he is skeptical about this jailbreak. So this is it guys, I really wanted to uh, keep you updated on what's happening in the jailbreak world and do not forget to vote in the card up here if you think it's fake or not. Tell me in the comment section down below what you think as well and peace out.